Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and thank you again for joining me for another cleaning motivational. Today, my husband is off, it's a Tuesday for me. We have two appointments to get to today. They're kind of in the middle of the day, one's at 12 and one's at two. So I'm gonna try and get as much cleaning as I do can get done today, done between those appointments like before and between and after. We'll see what we're gonna do. We also have to go grocery shopping, so I'll be doing that as well today. Nothing crazy, just a quick run to the grocery store. Um, our two appointments and trying to get as much cleaning as we can done. My husband has already started laundry this morning and I have two baskets upstairs that still need to get put away before we can take them out of the dryer. So I think I might, um, I should start in my room. I don't know. I'll see where we go. I'm going to go talk to my husband, see how far laundry is coming along. And then that'll kind of show me where I need to start, whether it's putting laundry away or going ahead and starting in my kitchen. So let's go ahead and get our day started and get as much as we can and get this video out for you guys. If you like this kind of content, give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, because I would love to see you guys stick around as well as hitting that bell notification so you don't miss any future uploads. Let's get our day started. A couple hours from Japan, would you stay Losing touch of who I am when you're far away And I feel like I'm running in circles around you mm. And I know I've been acting strange for a while if y'all aren't new here, you know that my bedding is typically that red quilt, but my husband bought me a duvet in lemon cover um, for our four year anniversary. I've had it for about a year and a half and I haven't used it, but since it's summer now, I decided to go ahead and give it a try and I'm absolutely loving it. It's not too heavy of a duvet, so it sleeps well even in the summer and the duvet cover, I'm absolutely loving. I love the deep navy tone with the lemons and if y'all know me, you guys know that I love lemons. If you don't know me, every summer I break out lemon decor throughout my kitchen and dining room, but I've been slowly dispersing it through every room, like my living room and then now my bedroom. Just kind of giving my personality to each room for each season. With this duvet, I plan to change out the covers um, now that I know I like it and I plan to just kind of change it out. But for now, we're going to stick with the lemons for the summer and then when spring and fall comes, I'll be changing out to a different duvet cover. I already have a whole bunch of plans for it. I'm super excited. So much stuff I want to look at on Amazon. But the one thing that I don't like about this cover is the fact that the hair from my dog sticks to it so much. Like I can run a lint roller over it and it'll still kind of look furry. So I need to figure out a way to deter that without telling my dog he can't sleep in bed with us because he is my baby and he will always be my baby. And I can't tell him not to sleep on my legs. So we're gonna go ahead and get my room cleaned up by making the bed and also cleaning and dusting around here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bins that I purchased from Amazon a couple weeks ago and put the shoes and stuff in there to declutter that corner as well and make it look more streamlined. But I want you close.
I purchased some storage cubes off of Amazon. I went with a basic tan kind of textured box. Very sturdy. I was really impressed when they came in how sturdy they felt. I will link them down below if you guys are interested in them. But I plan to put all of my shoes into these bins and put them in this cube. And then I went ahead and decided to take off all the winter boots off of the top because it was really bothering me. Um, and I put them into my closet for storage and eventually I would like to find a better place for them. But for now, they're in my closet sitting in a blank space that my suitcase used to sit in, but my suitcase broke. So perfect timing. My boots can fit there. And I feel like this just really made the room feel a lot cleaner with the bins there rather than just shoes just staring at you all disarray. And it also stops my daughter from pulling out all of my shoes and asking me if I want to wear them. So it's been really working really well for us and I absolutely love it. And it just makes it look, I don't know, cleaner, so much cleaner in this corner. Alright y'all, we are back home from our appointments. It is now 4 o'clock. I just got done feeding Tennyson and Trevor. Um, a really late lunch, kind of early dinner. Um, we didn't hit the commissary because Tennyson was really grumpy. She missed her nap today, so she has been a little bit of a pill. Um, so we skipped the commissary, I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start taking you guys along with me for cleaning up the kitchen because I was about to start doing it without filming it. And then I was like, if I'm going to do it, go ahead and film it and let's get this going. So I'm going to go ahead and empty the dishwasher, load my dishes, get my counters kind of cleaned up. I'm not going to be doing an excessive clean up of my counters and stuff. Just kind of get the space cleaned up because um, I have all my lemon decor for my table set out. And I need to pull out the stuff I've had for years and go ahead and combine what I have from this year and what I've had for the past couple years and get my 
house ready for my summer lemon vibe. If you guys noticed in the first part of this video, we changed my bedding to my lemon stuff that Trevor got me for our fourth year anniversary. Um, I've had it for over a year and a half and I just never used it. So I got that put on the bed. I absolutely love it. I'm sleeping wonderful with it. And uh, I love the lemons, of course. So that'll be my, my summer uh, bedding. And then I'll change the duvet cover every season from now on because I like that cover a lot. So let's go ahead and get started, get this kitchen slightly cleaned up. We're not going deep, in de deep into it until the next day because I want to decorate and I'm gonna go deeper into cleaning the next day. This is just a quick cleanup to help my sanity and get these dishes out of my sink. Won't you pour me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love.
All right, y'all, we are on day two of cleaning. Um, yesterday, I took the day off from cleaning and we went grocery shopping and I did a whole bunch of food prepping and making some like easy light lunches for us during the weekend. So we're not eating kind of like unhealthy because a lot of times on the weekends we tend to snack and do things like that we're not supposed to. So I just made some healthy stuff for the weekend. Um, and now I gotta get my kitchen cleaned all the way back up, get my lemon stuff put out and get my living room cleaned up as well. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. Um, my kitchen is a little bit of a mess right now. I'll give you guys a quick overview in a second and we'll go ahead and get that started. I need to clutter, declutter the bar because I have a bunch of stuff up there from crafts yesterday and things like that. So a lot of stuff on the menu right now. My husband and my daughter are out grocery shopping for stuff that we couldn't find at the commissary yesterday. So they'll be gone for just a little while. And then when they come back, they can probably help me tackle um, the living room. So let's go and get started so we can get done while they're gone and see how far we can get today. So I've been watching a lot of cleaning TikTok a lot lately because the videos are real short and I, I get to find out about products that I've never heard about a lot more often than I do when I uh, watch um, just leaked um, like YouTube videos. Um, most of the time they're not sponsored, which is something I really enjoy. Um, it's when someone's boasting about a product they just boasting about a product that they just love because they tried it and not because they're collabing and being sponsored to say something that's good about it. So one of the things that I recently saw was a lady on TikTok who had blueberry stains in her toddler's shorts and she showed this Miss, Miss Mouse Messy Eater Stain Treater. It's I believe non-toxic, non-toxic and effective. It's fast, it's safe, it's strong, it's universal is what it says. It says, stuff happens, be prepared. Well, anyways, she put, sprayed this on there and the blueberry stains disappeared. Not, not with washing, not with scrubbing, just spraying. So if you have a toddler, try this. I'm gonna try and find some clothes that have some stains in them, or I might create some and show you guys how well this works um, and some clothes that like I don't need just in case it doesn't work. But I wanna try this out and show you guys because it wasn't very expensive. It looked like it worked really well and I wanna give it a try. I also picked up the famous pink stuff. Um, I want to try it on my stove grates and in my sink, see if it gets a real good sparkle. It came a little busted, so I'm not going to take the paper off, but I did, I did pick this up. I'll, I'll try this with you guys and see how well it does. And then everyone always asks me about pet fur and how I maintain it. And the fact is I haven't been able to this year, like he's shedding so crazy, but I found this brush on TikTok again. Um, a man was using it on his German Shepherd. It's the Max Power Planet. Um, pet grooming tool and it has one side it says the nine piece side with the teeth right here I don't know if you can see it looks pretty crazy this one's to like cut the mats and tangles out of your pet's fur Nash doesn't really have mats and tangles so I'll be using this side which is the 15 17 17 teeth comb and that'll help get his undercoat and de-shedding under control. I'm really hoping that this works well. And if it does, I definitely recommend it. It wasn't too pricey. And if it works, um, definitely recommend for all those that 
are struggling with a pet for a problem this year like I am. I'll be taking him outside in a little bit before I clean the living room and give him a good brush because I also picked up the uh, rubber carpet squeegee. So I'm gonna squeegee my carpet today. I'm gonna give a quick vacuum and I'm gonna squeegee them and I'll do a slow vacuum and see how much before we get up and just make sure I can get rid of a lot of the fur that's happening around my house. So with that said, this one's gonna sit over here in the corner until I get some time to use it. But I'm gonna use this today for sure. Find some stains, but this to show you guys. And then when I have some time, I'm going to deep clean my, my soap grates with the pink stuff. I'm trying to get more cleaning done today than deep cleaning. So we'll see when I do this one, but it should be soon because I really, really wanna get those grates done. So let's finish getting everything cleaned up. I want to get this room uh, vacuum and mopped as well. So I wanna get it all done very quickly before my family gets home or within the few minutes that they're home. I really don't know why I still have coats sitting out. It's the 1st of July, but they are still on my table. So I'm gonna go put these in the laundry room, get them washed and put away in the closet down here because there's no need for them on my table. I picked up some new table decor this year for my lemon stuff, because I usually have the same stuff every year. But I'm gonna go ahead and start the process of just kind of putting it out on the table. So it's off my bar over here, so I can finish putting it over here. Um, I bought a set of white plates from Dollar Tree to put on the table as well. I was looking for like some fancier ones, but I really don't have storage space for fancy ones. And if these ones get broken, they were a dollar from Dollar Tree. When I store them away with the rest of my lemon stuff, I have to wait for my husband to get home probably to pull the rest of the lemon out because it's underneath the stairs and it's a very heavy tote because I own a lot of lemon stuff. So I'm gonna get this stuff unpacked, start setting it up on the table, and then as I get the room clean, this table will be finished, hopefully. And I will also link everything that I purchased from Amazon this year um, in the description box. I don't know if I'll be able to like, link all the stuff that I have previously because most of it's gifted or I thrifted or I found it like home goods and stuff. Um, but the stuff I got this year, I'll link it just in case you want to purchase any of it. I thought these were just the cutest little, um, napkin ring holders. I like the little tweed, uh, kind of style rope stuff. And then the lemon, it's so cute. I also picked up these Atera Home, um, kind of like woven chargers. It says natural placemats, handcrafted, set of four, woven, water, hyacinth place placemats. So I got these instead of having, what you guys usually see is the rectangular um, cork board style lemon stuff. I wanted it this year instead of being like, boom, lemon in your face. I wanted to have accents of lemon and get some more of like some natural tones because I'm starting to get really, really into like the boho style, but I can't give up my lemons and lemons aren't really boho, I guess. So I'm trying to just work in some of the natural tones with still keeping um, my lemons and stuff. So it's not just like, boom, lemon in your face, but it's still me. I still get to have my lemons. And this year I decided to also go with blue instead of um, the greens, the yellows and the whites. I decided to go with creams and blues, like a navier blue. So I picked up, ugh, a table runner, which I haven't done a table runner ever. So I'm curious to see how this is gonna work. I think I did a table runner once, but I didn't like it. So we'll see if I like this one. This one's from Native Fab, 100% cotton. It's just this nice little stripe pattern, has the frills at the end. Isn't she pretty? I like her. Nice soft material. Hopefully I got the right length. I don't know if I did. 
Okay, it's a little long, but I don't think it looks bad. It needs to be ironed, but I'll do that later. I just wanna see how all of this stuff looks on my table first. And then if I'm keeping it, then I'll, I'll iron it and do all the stuff that needs to be done with it. But just kind of get everything set up and just kind of see how it's flowing for me. I also picked up a pack of just some cloth napkins. Uh, Ruvanti is what these are called. Oh, they're so soft. Wow, that's good material. I like that. It's very kind of restaurant style, like super soft. But it's just this deep blue to match the blue in the runner. And then I feel like blue and yellow just kind of go really well together. So that's kind of like my theme this year is like a blue and yellow natural tones with lemon accents. So don't judge me, but I have no clue how to do fancy napkin stuff. I should have looked this up, but we're gonna try a little something, something. I guess I should do it this way. They're square. I'm, oh, geez. So maybe I should do it like this. Maybe I should Google something. I want it like a fan, a fan look. Maybe I just don't know what I'm doing. I obviously should have took home ec in school. I took cooking classes instead because I enjoy cooking a lot. I don't know if I'm doing this right or not. It's not bad. But I was hoping for something a little bigger. You know what? I feel so silly. Okay, one more try. Then you lay it out. See, I can be artsy fartsy. Okay. So like I said, I bought plates from uh, Dollar Tree. I gotta give them a wash real quick because they're real dirty. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you like what my idea is and then we're gonna go ahead and finish cleaning and then we'll finish setting up the table. I'm so excited to finally have my table decorated for the summer even though it's already July, but I'm gonna turn the camera around and kind of show you guys some stuff. Okay, so we have the runner. I like it. It's a little long but I think I'll keep it. I'm gonna go ahead and iron it a little bit. I got the placemats here, and then there'll be a white plate and then a saucer plate, and then I have this setup that I think I'm gonna go with on top. What do y'all think? I think I'm gonna keep it that way. I wish these would kinda, I don't know, lay behind it or something. I really don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to do. I'll have to look online. But yeah, I still think it's cute, very summery. Just a little splash of color. And then I'm gonna have a picture here that has like the white and yellow flowers I usually do. Um, and that's about it. No silverware, no something like that. Just a simple setup. I think we're getting somewhere so far. So let's finish over here, get all this stuff cleaned up and then I'll finish doing decorating stuff. that I picked this up. It's a Mr. Scrappy disposal brush. Check out how that design is. Stick it through your disposal, give it a nice good scrub. I'm hoping this works well because it looks really neat. I saw it and I was like, I have to have this. Cute little inventions. Let's give it a try today.
Try the pink stuff with this. I'm really sensitive to cleaners, so I'm gonna wear some rubber gloves. I have these coconut scoring pads. I don't have any scrub daddies with what people usually use with this, but I do have the coconut scoring pads from Grove. I'm gonna give those a try and just start with one in case it messes one of these up. I don't want to mess all of them up at the same time. kind of new tell me you're feeling it too and love me like yesterday So I read the directions, it says to apply with a soft, gentle sponge, which is not what I've been thinking will do. I just did a little bit, it says to use it sparingly and be careful not to scrub or do anything because it'll create scratches. So I just put a little bit on. I'm going to tell you right now, I do not like the smell. It smells horrible to me. Um, I don't know. If it works well, I might use it as a regular product in my house, but right now, the smell is just so off-putting. It smells very sweet. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to let it sit for just a few minutes and then I'm going to see if it gets all that crud off. The pink stuff, great product. It worked really well. I'll show you guys a, like a, what, a, what one of my grapes look like. It's so like this is how bad my grapes are. And this was from one small application of it and not very much scrubbing. I feel like it took off so much stuff so easily, but this product isn't for me. It, I get it, it's pink, and it should smell pretty because, you know, 
ladies love pink stuff that smells pretty but this is like sickeningly sweet and i don't think i'm gonna keep it i'll probably hand it off to somebody because i i just can't stomach the smell of it it's so sweet it kind of makes me want to gag and i'd rather just stick to my barkeeper's friend and other things like that so pink stuff great product not for me I've seen those faces, I've heard all the lies, but you ain't gazing on someone in denial, cause you want dollar bills right now, but you gotta work real hard, I know you want it to be easy, so let your guard this feeling I'm feeling you could be the one I see no reason why I should ever let you go mm -hmm. I don't wanna wake up if I'm dreaming because you know I can't get enough of this feeling you're giving me don't wanna wake up Without
part of something bigger And now my mind is filled with you Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Oh, you know, oh, you know, oh, you know Baby with a I really wish that I had remembered to clean out the garbage disposal, like just give it a good rinse and then give you guys a, a look-see at it before I went in with the brush. I also forgot to like run the disposal before I just went in there all mayhemy and scrubbing the heck out of it. But when I was pulling it out, I noticed that the soap kind of turned a dingy brown color. So I was like, I knew I was getting somewhere, but I wish I had shown you guys what it looked like before I went into it. Because typically whenever I clean my disposal, I'll look down in it and just kind of see if there's anything stuck or anything going on down there. And it's typically like a, a brown slash coppery slash black color down there. Very scummy looking. Even though I run pods down it and things like that, it's always very brown, black, and everything like that. So this is after one scrub and me not running the disposal. You can see where it scraped up a lot of that stuff around there. So I'm going to close it up and drop a cleaning pod down it. And then I'll show you guys that afterwards. It doesn't come out to pure perfection, but it's actually silver, which is impressive to me because I've never seen the bottom of my garbage disposal to be silver ever. So that was really impressive. I'm going to keep continuing to use this brush on a regular basis, and then hopefully my garbage disposal will be super clean all the time, and most of that gunk will be out almost every time, I'm hoping. Just so that you don't have any of those smells, less pods, just a good old Blue Dawn and a scrub should keep this thing looking very nice. I definitely recommend this brush, and I will link it down below.
right y'all so we're finished with the kitchen and we got that decorated and cleaned up now that we're done in here we're gonna go ahead and move on to my dining room just finishing up the cleaning of it it's pretty well decorated on the table and I'll give you guys an overview once I finish doing the floors and all that so I'm gonna go ahead and start by giving you guys a close-up of the chair feet in my dining room because I talk about it all the time I show you guys sometimes like a big wad of hair but I'm gonna give you guys a close-up of what the non-skid pads look like after about a week worth of pulling in and out of the chairs this is all dog and cat fur it just sticks to the bottom of those chair pods you can see there's cat litter in here my cat does it all through the house these floors have to be vacuumed and mopped frequently with the chairs themselves I only pull the hair off about once a week or if I see a giant clump I'll pull it off but I was waiting to show you guys just to see show you guys how bad the hair problem is this year so I'm gonna go ahead and move all the chairs out take the fur off give both these spaces a good vacuum and mop and then we'll go ahead and do an overview Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We've got nothing to lose. You're looking so, oh, you're looking so, oh. Now I'm moving closer to you. Room. Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Just say the word and we can leave this place I am going to show you the dump of this container and this is just from the kitchen, the chairs, and the dining room. That is horrific and we vacuum in the kitchen and the whole downstairs in general um, every single day. So you can just imagine how much dog fur we're combating when you see a dump like that on a one day like less than 24 hours between each vacuum. It's pretty intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and give a good vacuum and then we're gonna go ahead and do an overview. If you really like this content, please give it a big thumbs up. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm trying to get more stuff out for you guys in shorter videos, but this one kind of went a little long, which is why I didn't include my living room in it. I decided to go ahead and say, hey, we did enough in here, enough cleaning with upstairs, the kitchen, the dining room, and decorating. This was enough for a video, and I'm glad I did because after editing it, it came to almost an hour. So next week you will see like more of the house, but this week you're going to just see mostly the dining room, the kitchen, and my room. But I do have some more videos coming out for you guys. I want to try out that stain remover stuff, so please stay tuned for that as well as the fur, fur remover brush and the squeegeeing of my carpets. We're talking about doing the cars this weekend, so I'm going to try and video that as well. But I've been waiting to get a spot bought in, so I'll see if I record that or if I just let my husband go ahead and clean the cars. It, again, if you like this content, give it a big thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet because I would love to see you guys stick around as well as hitting that bell notification if you're already subscribed so you don't miss any future uploads. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all next time.